Zealand, the phosphates are contained in nodules, essentially rocks on the sea floor. So the sea floor has all these little boulders and rocks which contain the phosphate. And those boulders and rocks support a really important and interesting coral and sponge community. And that sp uh, um, sponge and coral community uh, in turn supports a huge number of uh, invertebrates and uh, fishes and the whole sort of ecosystem is dependent on that. So you take away these phosphate nodules, these rocks, these little boulders, and you mine them out of the system, you've actually destroyed the substrate of the system, that unique cold water coral and sponge ecosystem, you've essentially destroyed it. In Namibia, the phosphate occurs essentially in sand particles, contained within sand particles. And this is a huge uniform seabed with these sand particles containing phosphate. So what you're doing is lifting up the sand particles, you're dredging with, with, with uh, vacuum dredges, uh, the sand particles on board, and you're taking those particles to shore, and you're processing, processes, processing them on shore. Now, as you dredge, the seabed is moving, and the high-energy oceans are moving the sediments all the time, and they will smooth off. And the basic benthic uh, 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 sea life in the adjacent areas will start to recolonize the area which has been dredged. Thank you.